Well, hello everybody. How is it going? My name is Boba Talks, and today I was meant to do a flash review and trailer breakdown. I'm sure I'll get that up at some point. But I was too, uh, let's just say the word, I know some people don't like this word, but it is just literally what the definition of how I'm feeling is, is triggered. Uh, because um, I'm getting a lot of people coming to me saying, what do you think about this? Jeremiah isn't the Joker. And I'm already getting the freaking comments in uh, my comment section on various videos saying Jeremiah isn't the Joker, like we freak, you know, blah, 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 blah. And this is flashback to my Jerome is not the Joker video that I made, man, around seven months ago. And wow, uh, that video did very well for me, but wow, I got a lot of hate. The typical, fuck you, Jerome is the Joker. Are you a fucking idiot? How do you not realize that Jerome is the Joker? Lo and behold, people, was Jerome the Joker. But yes, I don't want this to just be like a, a, an emotional video from my end. I want this to be an informative video breaking down what one of the executive producers, Danny Cannon, has had to say about the whole Joker ideology in Gotham. And it, this is going way over people's heads, way over people's heads to the point where, and, and I am saying this, and specifically, I want to reiterate this point, I am not talking about everybody. There is just some fans out there who who really do act as judge during executioner and once they hear a whiff of this stuff, they they will if, if you say anything differently in in a video or anything differently towards them whether you're polite, you're just normal like I guess I am in my videos, I'm just me. They will literally hang draw and quarter you, whatever the saying is, you know, medieval times. They will they will literally fuck you up. So before I get deep into this video which will be on the other end and, and give my own personal opinion on what Danny Cannon has had to say about this whole uh, Jeremiah potentially not being a joke thing or what people are perceiving that to be is um, I want to inform you guys of the whole story, what he has to say, I'll quote uh, what he said and then I'll break it down and then I'll give you my opinion. There's a lot of Joker obsessed people who, are, who really do act, as I said, judge during executioner and they really try and spread their opinion around and I don't want the wrong opinion getting around because I believe what Danny Cannon said is interesting but a lot of people are being like, oh my god, Jeremiah isn't the joke. Joker. Is this true? Is this true, Boba? Is Jeremiah really not the Joker? Well, just wait and see what I have to say. But first, let's read exactly what he had to say to comicbook.com in their interview. So I quote directly here from comicbook.com. The link will be in my description. Comicbook.com spoke exclusively with Gotham executive producer Danny Cannon to get some clarification about Jeremiah's role. When we asked him whether or not the character would be actually referred to to as the Joker, this is what he had to say. I don't think so, no, Canon confirmed. This is an origin show about the beginnings of everything, therefore we just wanted to do the beginnings of why. When we first did the pilot, we were trying to create a world where someone like Batman would be necessary, and that's what we've done these last four years. If you want to survive as a villain in Gotham, you've got to think Big. We just wanted to really make an origin story of not just one character at a time and how they got made, but why things get so out of hand in Gotham and where criminality is going in Gotham. How far can it get, how bad it can get before someone dons that black suit, becomes a vigilante that will change the city forever. And then comicbook.com did a couple of lines of their own breakdown. While Jeremiah won't be the Joker by name, he and Jerome were both very heavily influenced by the classic villain from the comics, which actually makes what Gotham is doing with him even more exciting if you're a fan of the source material. Just before Jerome died, he told Jim Gordon that he was so much more than a man. He's an idea, a concept. The spirit of madness will continue without Jerome walking the earth. That's exactly the twisted foundation that the Joker himself is built on. And Danny Cannon had this to finish uh, his talk with comicbook.com. Well, I think that just spawned the conversation of the idea of it, of the Joker not being a one person, but like I said, it's a personality. It's a way of thinking. It's more powerful than just one person. Therefore, that sparked the conversation of if it's the opposite of good, the opposite of Bruce Wayne is somebody who just wants to destroy and wants to do it in a chaotic way, then that could be anyone because you are literally just going the opposite of your main character and take it as far as you can go. I don't think that's just one person. I think that is a way of life it's an ideology, and, and God, those those last words do cringe me out a little bit, just because I fundamentally disagree with it, but 
also kind of partially agree with the, the philosophy of the Joker here. But anyway, let's freaking break this down uh, because I feel like, uh, especially from the first paragraph, a lot of people aren't listening to uh, the very first words he actually said. And just like, Jeremiah's not a Joker. Anyone who said he's the Joker is, is a, needs to go freaking die or something. And if you're one of those people, screw you. Sincerely, like, screw you. Like, you, uh, you shouldn't be involved in fan bases like this if you're going to be that freaking foul. So, ladies and gentlemen, and to even the haters who are watching this, who are very ripe and sour, that, that doesn't make sense, who are very sour right now, um... Basically, the first thing I want you guys to pay attention to, and I'm, and I'm not trying to sound like I'm talking down on you guys, I just think it's really important to, to really grasp uh, what is being said here, rather than just being taking it on very cliff noty things and just reacting straight away. Comicbook.com said, when we asked him whether or not the character would actually be, and I said this when I was reading it out very longly, actually be referred to as the Joker, this is what he had to say. I don't think so. No. And guess what, people? And I've been saying it for a few videos already. I said I don't think Jeremiah is going to be referenced as the Joker. If anything, I've said the city will dub him that one day or whatever they don't. I can't think of the word right now. But the city, maybe within a few years, would be like, oh, it's the Joker. Or the, you know, how they called Superman and Man of Steel without anyone figuring out his name apart from the, like some freaking press place who probably called him Superman. Same thing. I don't think he'll be like, oh, I'm the Joker or like in a Nicholson -y way. I always grasp this concept because I, I found out that he wasn't going to be called Joker, I think. Uh, on the scripts and everything, he's still referred to as Jeremiah. So I have been saying for a few videos that, um, no, I don't think he'll be referred to the Joker. Actually, I think I even said in my last Q&A on the, the very episode he became the Joker, um, that he wouldn't be called the Joker. But, you know, I said how would the Joker still reveal himself because, yes, I believe that Jeremiah, for all intents and purposes, is Gotham's Joker kinda right now, and I'll get to that explanation afterwards. But what everyone really needs to focus on, I think, and to the people who are seriously screaming that, oh my god, everyone was wrong and Jeremiah isn't the Joker, is comicbook.com asked Danny Cannon if Jeremiah would be referred to as the Joker this season, and he says, oh, I, I don't think so, no. He didn't say, Jeremiah isn't the Joker. He, he literally didn't say that. But what I will give you guys is that he did say that in the Gotham's universe, uh, the, the Joker is an ideology, so it does have the potential, um, you know, to be uh, more than one man. Not that Jeremiah isn't a Joker, or that even Jerome was the very proto-Joker, but Jeremiah will be Gotham's probably first Joker, and if anything were to happen to him in the future, then I guess there would be another Joker, but I, I will get to that ideology thing, because I, I personally really don't like that storyline. But no, guys, Jeremiah... As I've said, and I'll say it again, is for all intents and purposes, the Joker. It's just that in this storyline, they're not going to refer to him as the Joker right away because they know Jeremiah, um, or they will find out in the next couple of episodes that obviously this is Jeremiah who, oopsie daisy, got infected with the laughing gas. But we know it's Jeremiah. We're not going to freaking call him the Joker until, I guess, he gets a name for himself over the next few years or something, uh, you know, where the city calls him the Joker. And it might be a case of occasionally Gordon might be just refer to him as the Joker. Kind of maybe unprofessionally, but maybe it will be like in his freaking um, police case. You know, uh, Jeremiah, Jeremiah Valeska or alias the Joker, if you know what I mean. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be fr freaking concrete. Everyone's like, oh no, it has to happen this way. No, it freaking doesn't. It literally doesn't. People are like, chemical vat is biblical canon. No, it isn't. People are fascinated and overjoyed with the Dark Knight, for the most part. Like, I'm not speaking on behalf of everyone, because I don't know, but I'm just saying, majoritively, if that's a word, people love it. Guess what? No chemical vat, just freaking makeup. So no, no biblical canon to everything. And yes, I'm fiddling with a freaking stress ball, because... I don't know, this just triggers me. I just realized I called this a stress ball. It's like a freaking stress bar, and yes, don't don't get any funny ideas of calling it something else. But as I was just saying, this is kind of what I mean. It goes over people's heads so fast. Like, the people who just react and, and get in, enraged straight away, they, they don't think. Like, they just... They just do. They, they just get angry, I guess. So what Danny Cannon was explaining is that they won't refer to Jeremiah as the Joker this season. And and, and also, I want to put in there, and this is, I guess, a part of my breakdown, I, I, I often wing these, as you can probably guess, um, is that Gotham... They were, they were like a pre-Batman show, right? They were, they were greenlit this Gotham show. But from what I understand, I could be slightly wrong about this, but 
I do know some of these are facts. They were stupidly kind of greenlit a Batman show where they can't do a lot of Batman things, including that of the Joker. So up until very recently confirmed by D David Mazus, they literally weren't allowed to use bats for four years in this show until like, yeah, season four until we got that vision. Same with the Joker. And, and, and think of whatever big cheese excuses, you know, all the execs or whoever decided that you can't really do this, that just in case, whether it's down to we, if you, if you come out of a crappy representation, we don't want that like branded against our name. He kind of thinks so you can't call Jerome the Joker or Jeremiah the Joker, um, just in case it looks bad on our, you know, movie Joker or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. But what I do know is they're not allowed to do certain things. They sometimes get a little bit of leeway after a few years or something like that. But now with the Joker storyline, I believe They've embraced this whole ideology thing um, because it's a way of them kind of getting around it uh, while still making some fans happy, but unfortunately inadvertently pissing a lot of people off with this storyline, which is kind of a bit more lame in a way than just having what I prefer as one mysterious dude who is the Joker, not a, a, an ideology. I get the ide ideology, I completely respect it, I really do, and that, that is what I'll move on to discuss in a second, how I think it's smart, what they kind of came up with, and I do feel like Gotham, and I want to put this literally on the record, they are doing the best they can do with the restrictions and limitations that they have put on them. Like, so, in, with reality, I'm kind of grateful to Gotham that they're trying their best with this, but, you know, it, this is where it kind of gets a bit complicated. Now, seriously, guys, despite what the EP said, um, he, I, I really want to put it out there. Again, he did not say that Jeremiah isn't the Joker. He said, will he be referred to as the Joker? No, I don't think so. And, and, to be honest, a lot of us already knew that. We knew from, to the rest of this season, Jeremiah will be out there as the Joker, looking like the freaking Joker, acting like the freaking Joker, but won't be called the Joker. I've already given you my reasons why, as what I imagine in Gotham's future, uh, in the future seasons that we probably won't get, that the city, you know, will call him the Joker, blah, 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 but you can, it's very self-explanatory for everyone to figure that out. So I want to put this out there, 100% freaking concretely out there, that Jeremiah is Gotham's Joker. Um, he is 100% the Joker in Gotham right now. They literally, guys, they literally did the Killing Joke-esque thing where he went like that. He's now got pale skin, red lips, um, but Gotham have done a little bit of a twist on it that I've already explained with the possibility that anyone has the potential to be like Jeremiah slash Jerome. But Jeremiah over Jerome has got more trademark qualities and physical attributes, you know, white skin, bleached skin because of the freaking laughing gas. You know what I'm trying to say. And is now going to dress and essentially be the Joker if you've seen the leaked pictures. And no, I'm not going to put it in this video. It would help me prove my point, but some people may have not seen it. This guy, who I wish I had the pictures on the screen right now, is Gotham's Joker. But they're just not going to call him that. This guy is, what, like in his mid-20s or whatever? Not even there yet. Technically, they did screw up that age thing. They said Jerome Valesco was 18 years old in season two, I think. Season one. Season one. Season two. It, regardless, that's a, that's a different video. I've already explained that. This guy has got a whole future ahead of him. Bruce isn't even Batman. He's five plus years away from being Batman. Or if they really want to push it, maybe he can start in his very extremely early 20s. That's, that's not a complete shocker to me. I'll be fine with that. But how often do they fight in the comics at different ages? I mean, freaking Dark Knight Returns. They're in their freaking 40s and 50s, the Joker and stuff. So they have got room for Jeremiah. For, they've got plenty of time for this guy who has now got bleached white skin, red lips, to be called the Joker out there by the city. For him to even embrace that freaking name. But let me tell you one thing. The main, I think, reason behind all of this is because they're just not allowed to use the freaking Joker name. They're not allowed to freaking even use Batman um, is in the vision. They were barely even allowed to use bats until now. So I just want people to understand that because there are so many people out there. I've already bitched about it already. But who just saw that first line which says... Um, when we asked him whether or not the character would actually be referred to as the Joker basically this season or in the next couple of episodes, he says, oh, I, I don't think so, no. Oh, wow, mind blown. That means he's not the Joker, everybody. That means Jeremiah is not the Joker. It, like, this article tells you that Jeremiah is basically our current Joker slash kind of the Joker uh, for the for X amount of years or whatever. Um, but yeah, all this complication with why they've come up with the ideology, I 100 billion gazillion Trezillion percent believe um, it's because they've tried to make the best, you know, kind of storyline with 
what limitations and restrictions they've had in place from the big cheeses above. Because I'm telling you right now, if they could use the Joker or something like that, or the Joker's name, they would have literally just done the storyline that all of you want right now. I know some of you probably love this ideology thing, but I would say 80 plus percent of you really don't like it. So I'm telling you right now, they literally would have done the storyline that is that makes the most sense and i'm not explaining it because it's so obvious if they were allowed to so they've they've gone around 50 billion different roundabouts or roads and tried to make sense of it i 100 gazillion percent believe they had no idea they kind of had a little bit of a rough idea um at times but what they were doing with cameron monaghan's storyline especially from season one it was they, they've gone on record to say that it was just meant to be not a laugh or anything but just hey do you fancy doing this it may or may not be connected to the joker storyline but it, nothing probably will ever come of it potentially but yeah you just come in and do that episode and then fans loved it but you can kind of see the rocky roller coaster with seven billion different maintenance breakdowns along the way that has created this end result but i am here to tell you that yes jeremiah is the joker but no no this is what you guys read wrong to the people who are freaking spreading false news uh he's not going to be referred to as the joker it's just like how bruce isn't going to be referred to as batman right now because he's a vigilante do you know what i mean do you know what i freaking mean so this is just my opinion i need that to get out there as well this is just my opinion but i don't want you guys to the toxic people out there i'm sure you've seen it at some point don't listen to the people who are spreading such ignorance who are literally jumping way overboard and uh, and lacking the, the the knowledge that the article literally tells them and and, and who are jumping to conclusions and, and it's it just creates so much rage in the in the fan base that i see that i feel like it's important with my little reach i have in the gotham community for me to put this message out there but yes guys to sum it up it's just like what jerome said um and we've been talking about this for a while as well that he's an ideologist well like danny cannon said i think the joker isn't so much a single person as he is an ideology he's an idea that we can all live without fear and we can all be free and we can all not live within the world's restrictions and not live within rules at all and i respect that i i get it it's kind of a, a somewhat of an intelligent storyline but i just personally don't dig it do i think that that means none of these guys who literally resemble and are everything the joker but being called the joker will not be called the joker no they will be called the joker but i feel like this has to unfortunately be left to imagination because we're not going to see it on the show we're not going to best we're literally ever going to get as a joker calling card like we saw with jerome but um yeah are we ever going to see Jeremiah called the Joker this season or even if we get a season five? Probably not. But will he be the personification of the Joker? The Joker that might freaking live to his he's 39 or something before he dies and before how somehow he sets up this mantle for the next Joker? Yes, he is the Joker. Do I agree with the fact that they're kind of doing this body swap or incarnation thing kind of thing that they're doing? um in in gotham you know with how it's an ideology no but that i kind of understand because i i truly truly 100 percent believe that is because of the limitations and restrictions they have in place but gotham are kind of giving the ability within their canon for it to swap between multiple people i get that it's a shame that that we have stupid rules in tv today that i i can't confirm it guys but i seriously believe that it is because they aren't allowed to do certain things like i've already explained so just to end this video off to people who are who are saying that Jer jeremiah isn't gotham's joker basically joker right now i guess because yeah i've already explained will he be referred to as the joker this season no does that make him not the joker no and if you really think that he's basically not gotham's joker just you wait till one bad day episode 20 21 and the rest of the season just 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 watch those scenes and tell me that he's not the joker just just go you know go on go on but also will he be jeremiah in gotham the the tv show yes but does that mean that one day within its future jeremiah valeska will not be you know dubbed the joker like how edward nigma is the riddler by the city kind of thing and yes i know that riddler named himself but still um no like yes i mean he will be good that i'm very certain of it but i guess people are gonna have their own opinions but anyway guys in true boba talks fashion this video went on for quite a while i know sometimes i repeat myself but i just like to emphasize and reiterate and really go in depth with everything i'm sorry if this video dragged on a little bit too much for your liking but hey that's just me but if you did end up enjoying this video 
uh, then I'd really appreciate a like. And that's really does show your support for the channel. And yeah, I just leave me your thoughts in the comments below about all this. Try not to rage. Try and see kind of maybe a little bit of my perspective in how even though I don't agree with the storyline Gotham has done, I, I truly believe there are other forces at work and they would they didn't make this whole ideology thing for the for the law for the lols basically they they did it because they're doing the best with what they can do and trying to still make us happy they didn't have to make Cameron Monaghan the Joker in fact they were all going to end this kind of in season three because Jerome was going to get beheaded at the circus he took Bruce to um so so do you know what I mean they 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 they're trying like this show isn't out to piss off its fans there are people who work on this show love this show have such passion for the show that includes the writers the executive producers they're not doing this to troll you i just wanted to put that out there because you know i love gotham obviously and and i, I think it's a good show there are lots of things I, I i disagree with but there are reasons for it i'm sure so if you're new to this channel why not subscribe for more videos just like this and also i want to say thank you to every single one of my patrons popping up on the screen right now if you want to check out my patreon page it's at the top of my description you may like some of the tiers you may decide to pledge like one of these guys did if you do thank you so much for your support if you want to talk nerdy and geeky with the boba talks family and community in the in the freaking comment section down below i do have a discord server invite to that server and it is in the description as well also guys very excited i have boba talks merch coming out soon i am not expecting a shit ton of sales at all i i know just a lot of people have mentioned that they wanted it and i finally got something together kind of soon so it might come out sooner or later but just know that i'm really happy with the designs so guys i think that's everything i hope this video was informative but i suppose you know i'll see you in the next video goodbye